Hey everybody, it's Atreus Monk here. I'm gonna play some more of the Talos Principle. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Um, I meant to show what the what our little special thing was that we got from Sigils of Elohim. Oh my, this is actually taking much longer to load than I thought it would. Maybe because I didn't let it go through quite the normal loading process. If I go... Ah, nope, not achievements. Ah, well, I can't check it right now. So anyway, we're here at the door to A. Gonna go back in and get the pieces for B. And probably whatever pieces we can get for C. <coughs> get one piece in three. Well, let's go get that one first. And then we have to go to five, I think, for the others for this one. Won't be able to go much beyond maybe 20 minutes on this. Okay, terminals aren't trying to tell me anything. What are you? These worlds, and we within them, are made of words. Yeah. Hidden words, invisible to you, yet part of all things. We are a story. Your actions give life to the story, and the story gives meaning to your life. I can't remember if this is the one we've already seen or not. Uh, come on. Don't crash, QR app. Oh. The eagle has landed. And then some ASCII text. Now is the time of tranquility, and I shall rest and observe the earth. No, 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 don't define 31. I want to copy that, and then... Let's see here. I do not still have the ASCII to hex thing open, so... ASCII to hex... Uh, well in this case actually hexadecimal to ASCII. Paste. Convert. Oh! Well, yeah. The hexadecimal ASCII in that one is actually, I believe, the time of the moon landing. 1969, 720 at 2018. Um, yep. Okay, this way. I'm not... Did I read that whole thing? Now I can't remember. Yeah, and I shall rest and observe the earth. What was the title of this area? I'm distracted. Stashed for later. Okay. Alright. Oh, no, I see this here. That's probably what's stashed for later. <clears throat> oh. The door is locked. There's the key.
let's go ahead and jam this from a safer distance. goes across here. I wasn't supposed to be playing with mouse and keyboard. Dang it. Okay. Kinda weird to get that thing looked like almost out of the blue. <coughs> okay. For right now, we're done with that. Didn't have any. Six has one. Five has some others. Actually, I don't think six has. Okay, six has a green. But it doesn't have a green that we need right now. And five has all of the rest of these pieces that we need right now. And two stars. <coughs> oh no. Ooh, rainy. Rainy, rainy, rainy. EL.HTML EL, short for Extended Lifespan, is a groundbreaking initiative by seven leading universities to create the world's most stable and most durable supercomputer. With its custom-made hardware bomb-proof casing and nearly exhaustive hydroelectric power supply, EL represents a unique step forward in the evolution of human technology. The brainchild of Nobel Prize nominee Dr. Arkady Chernyshevsky, EL will... So, if we're going with the idea that Elohim is actually EL, then, so Elohim is this computer that's been going because it's got a hydroelectric power supply and is like seriously hardened against external attacks for who knows how long AI citizenship reconsider issue 199 profile Alexandra Drennan once a true artificial intelligence has been created the issue of citizenship is going to come up if we acknowledge that the AI has all the abilities of a human brain should it not be considered a person is it not in the legal sense of, a, of the word a person, and thus a potential citizen? But where, do you, will, but where do you draw the line? Some people will object. Will the great apes become citizens? Elephants? Whales? The more, more intelligent parrot species? It's crazy, they say. I would remind these people that we live in a society in which a corporation, as abstract an entity as one could imagine, is considered a person. So it's not like there's no precedent for a non-human being a person. At least an artificial intelligence is an actual thinking being, not just a business arrangement. But perhaps we do not need we do need to question the definition of personhood. Increasing amounts of evidence regarding the intelligence of elephants and the existence of culture among whales, for example, could be a sign that we need to answer some difficult questions. Who better to debate these questions with than the young genius who revolutionized the yeah. Eight. You must consider these riddles, the Sphinx said, and tell me the riddle that I did not reveal. The Sphinx smiled, the, gear in her, the gears in her jaw creaking, her teeth a nightmare of rust. Her left eye flickered. 
but none of its terror was diminished. The ruins were silent in the... I think that the riddle... She said, finally, I think that the riddle you did not reveal is this. Why do these riddles exist in the first place? Why do these curious automatons, these mute children of Hephaestus, behave as they do, forcing me to devise these intricate solutions? Each riddle... Or each is a riddle, but the greater riddle is their purpose. The Sphinx did not answer. Her eye was lifeless now. Athena removed it from its socket, knowing that its power would aid her, yet feeling also a deep sorrow at the passing of this fearful creature. Something I wanted to check. This, like, A05, Athena 8. Okay, well, it's 1912 CE. <clears throat> I mean, I'm making assumptions there, but... Not back through there yet. Okay, so I actually do need every single green piece on this level. Let's go ahead and go for the bar first. Because that will be our first block only puzzle. Things to do with two boxes. Holy moly. Look at this. A powerful device fashioned by the designer. What's a hexahedron? A cube. The edges are beveled. That makes it a decahedron. You forgot the indents. With the indents, it's like a super polyhedron. But the convex hull is a decahedron. Topic closed. Wrong. Wow. Arguments on the internet. Arguments on the internet, people. <coughs> I'm gonna guess, first of all, we have a pressure plate here. Probably gonna want to go back and grab the other one at some point. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. can't take the second one. <sighs> oh, but I need... I need one. That didn't work. <sighs> the guardians of this land may harm you, but do not resent them, for they are my servants, and they challenge you only <clears throat> so that your faith might be strengthened. 
it to be able to like jump over the wall. And you know what? If I'm going to block one of you off this time, I'm going to block that one off. Rest in peace, Apis. Epitaph, child program terminated here, failed random memory test, final memory dump, I try again, again, I cannot understand, I am not enough, progeny programs, error. Hello? Ah, there we go. Stupid USB things again. Okay. Yep. Still more kind of weird stuff. <sighs> How annoying. Now my game has no sound. My game has no sound. Wait, hold on just a second here. I go. Okay, no, I do die if I just try to run right through them. I figured, but, and you know, figured it couldn't be that simple, but you know, whatever. Um, let's try this for just a little bit longer. <clears throat> I really do think I, I, I'm kind of on to something with the whole I have to stop one. Kinda up close there to the top. And then while the other is a long way away. So like after this thing has passed. See, there we go. Take that through there. Oh no, no, no. Jump, jump. There we go. It is not a cube. Hmm. I do not understand why the designer chose to put such flaws into the world, that it appears almost as if it were damaged. But I must believe that there is a purpose here I cannot see. Yeah, you know what? I'm not so sure that there is a purpose there that you can't see. What's this? If the designer is perfect and he designed me for a purpose, I must be fit for that purpose. It follows that my purpose must not be to seek and hoard every sigil in his land, so many are beyond the faculties he granted me. Oh, -ho! there's a star over there. And there's a star behind a jammer gate. I don't think I could, I don't think the jammer gate was visible.
Hmm. Interesting. There's a star there. All right, well, since the... Oh. Okay. I will have to check back in over here because it looks like we have us another little uh, audio log and kind of interesting that this place kind of cleared up once we grabbed that. Um, but since I don't have sound and I'm kind of out of time for recording right now, uh, thank you all for joining me and I'll see you next time. This has been Atreus Monk playing the Talos Principle, signing off.